It's a question I'm sure many of you are trying to answer. Which bike do you choose, a Specialized Levo or the Levo SL? Power versus agility. How the f did you get up there? Oh no! Seriously? Oh f the top's right there! <laughs> Bloody Jones. Now, there's many things to think about. The Levo weighs in at 20 kilos versus the Levo SL, which is about 16. And then, of course, you have such things as the torque. SL at 30 newton meters and the Levo at 90 newton meters. In terms of the batteries, the Levo comes with either a 500 watt hour or a 700 watt hour, and the SL has a 320 watt hour in the down tube, plus, of course, these dinky little 160 watt hour extenders. So we're here in southern Spain to have a look at the strengths and weaknesses, the pros and cons of both bikes. So we're going to embark on a bit of an adventure, taking in some double tracks, some single tracks, some tech climbs and... Uh, um... How about a hell of a lot of descending? Ah, that's right, yeah. And actually some hiker biking to throw oh, in. Dang. Sorry, meant to introduce you to our sparring partner and host for the day, Michael Saunders from Switchbacks MTB Holidays, or should I say Switchbacks EMTB Holidays. Two riders then, similar in age, similar in weight, similar in height, and similar in... Being hungover. Or... Nearly dead feeling. <sighs> Ness. Now, when it comes to the strengths, uh, obviously, as Michael said, uh, the hiker bike, then I'm thinking the 16K Levo SL is going to be at an advantage. Um, but when you compare these two bikes, they're actually remarkably close uh, together, especially in terms of geometry and sizing. When you look at the wheelbase, the head angle, the seat tube angle, the bottom bracket, they're actually almost identical and the reach 480 millimeters on both bikes. No, the biggest difference between these two bikes is actually the chainstay. 437 millimeters on the SL and 455 on the Levo. Now, we've flown out here to southern Spain. Clearly, you can't fly with the batteries, so uh, we've removed the batteries from the down tube of the SL, and of course, we managed to carry the 160 watt hour range extenders in our bag. The Levo, on the other hand, has got a 700 watt hour battery, so we couldn't uh, travel with that. However, um, Mike at Switchbacks uh, rents out e-bikes and batteries, so we could simply get one of those and uh, bring our bikes and enjoy this amazing landscape. Just before we go, I just want to point out some logistics of batteries. As you can see, we've got one 160 watt hour range extender in there. That is it. And as you can see, a very suspicious looking water bottle in the Levo, which is obviously another. And we have got Michael here with a third. So that's three 160s, which I make uh, 480? 480. 480 plus the 500 watt hour in the Levo. Right, Michael, what have we got on the cards today? Well, we started in the village. We are now about, what, halfway up the mountain, I think. Mm -hmm. We're going to climb up to about 1,100 meters. Amazing views, Africa. Mm -hmm. Hike a bike to get there, unfortunately, <sighs> Steve. So um, we'll just swap the Alta to take the SAL. Okay, keep to point. that. Yeah. Keep to that. And then, um, amazing views, we'll have a snack. Yep. With the top. And then we're going to go down Ferrari. Ferrari is, hence, the, well, by the name, as the name describes, it's kind of like a... Death grip speed, <laughs> death grip edges, because yeah. it's got, it's built in, cut into the side of a mountain. Loose as hell, <laughs> uh, super tight switchbacks. We are going to have to pass our bikes between us. On a? Via Ferrata. A Via Ferrata. So um, it's just going to be a most amazing, epic day out on the mountain. I May the best man win. It's going to be emotional. Now, what's going to be interesting today is comparing a 30 newton meter bike to a 90 newton meter one, especially on the climbs. Uh, now, Mike, I'm going to try and go in trail mode. How about you? I think I'm going to stick to eco. I mean, with that extra torque, I mean, I, I shouldn't need to put it into anything else, should I? Wow, well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do it.
So we're halfway up the climb. I've now swapped over to the lever to get a comparison. I'm still in eco mode while Mike's on the SL in trail. Okay, and I think it's still pretty equal, right? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, our heart rate, and I'm running about 115 on the SL compared to about 112 on the lever. So obviously, there's a little bit more, a little bit more grunt on the uh, on the lever bike, but on a on a hill climb, two people the same weight, same ability. Pretty evenly matched, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, massive difference between the eco of the SL and the Levo. Yeah. Um, I was working hard <laughs> <laughs> when I had it in that. Yeah. That was that was hard work. Yeah. But, but they know they pre they pretty much feel identical. Yeah. In this mode, so I think it proves that on this type of climb, you haven't got to worry about one bike being more powerful than the other. Uh, so a. Pretty typical fire road climb. Now, I know we could go up and down in our heart rates depending on the effort we put in, uh, but I want to look at this that particular aspect of the ride as how people would think about it when you go for a group ride. I think it's proved that you can actually go and ride together with two bikes, which are actually quite different in power, right? Indeed, yeah. I mean, it was it was very noticeable going back onto the Levo, I must admit. Uh, yeah. So the SL definitely in the trail feels less pokey yeah. than this in the in the eco, but of course you could fiddle with the, with exactly. the numbers on that in the apps. Uh, and we also had Nick uh, on the camera. Uh, Nick is 28 and he's on a Canyon Spectralon. And Nick was actually in between eco and trail, right Nick? Yeah. So obviously Nick had a, backpack, a big camera backpack on as well. So uh, I think it just proves you can mix these rides up with different power bikes. Indeed. At this point, things do change up quite drastically. We go from a fire road to something which is steeper, looser, rockier, and far more technical. Do you know what, actually? I've had a thought. Oh yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna compare that torque that we were talking about. Right. So, sandy, loose surface, right? Your wheel's gonna wanna spill that spin out. So, would this bad boy Yeah spin out more so would the slow and steady wins the day less torque would that be better climbing up a loose surface than this guy it's very interesting very interesting well let's just let's find out uh you did actually forget about one thing as well that's, that's the that. skill level <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> yeah. second gear both bikes same gearing same tire choice actually we didn't mention that earlier both bikes are rolling Maxxis Asagai tyres, which are 2.5, uh, very soft compound, uh, ideal for this hideous marble and limestone territory. Three, two, one, go. So that's like 14. 14, Fuck, I suck. Oh my god, this thing is light. 14 seconds. I think it's a skill thing. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, there is a difference. There actually is a difference. Nine seconds. So when you get to technical terrain, the torque does actually make a difference. Well, you know what's curious, actually? What is? Uh, did you notice how I spun here? Rather counterintuitively. I thought that would spin, not this. Probably shit technique, but my body positioning was, I thought was the same, yeah. but I did, I did have a moment of spin. Mm. That's my excuse that I'm sticking to it. I certainly feel there's a bit of horses for courses here. Um, that bike and this bike on the fire roads, evenly matched. However, we get into this technical terrain and the Levo certainly has the edge. Um, but Michael, I'm thinking, right? I mean, this is, this is like super technical. Not many people ride this stuff. And we did like 10 seconds. There's no way we'd be able to sustain a climb for more than two, three minutes on this type of rock. <laughs> I certainly couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what about the weight? Well, that's what I was just kind of wondering about is I wonder if, you know, this is three, four kilos lighter. Yeah. Um, amazing, amazing the difference. That's a sheepdog, by the way. Yeah, um, carry on. <laughs> but I wonder if that bad boy, much like the way that a lot of e-bikes go downhill so well as they're so stable because of yeah, that added yeah. weight. So I wonder if on technical loose terrain like this again, the weight of that bad boy doesn't win out. Very interesting. Right, I think this is our first bit of super tech. Anything goes, any mode, any gear, 
anything you like. Can I take over camera duties? <laughs> right, uh, Levo SL, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a turbo climb. This has got to be a turbo climb. Good lad. Right, I'm gonna do something really daft. I'm gonna to try to do it in eco. No, oh, no, not an eco. All right, no, okay, okay, I'm gonna go halfway. Okay, I'm putting it into trail. All right, happy? Yeah. All right, maybe this time it'll work. <sighs> Freezing it, freezing it. So, <laughs> I didn't want to stop. So what does that prove? It actually proves actually down the skill levels, right? Not the, mo not the motor. And heart rate. I think we need to get something. <laughs> Surely people don't ride up here on traditional mountain bikes. Many have tried. That's, that's but no, I mean they get they get you know into the shade. I mean that is technical. Yeah. It looks like a huge challenge. Well, let's make it one then. Oh, oh. Okay. The, the okay. Talk. So the, the so big talk. One, the, the one big talk. Gets, when it gets up further, yeah. furthest, yeah, wins, and yeah. they get to buy the first hangover beer of this evening. <laughs> It's a deal. Right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go in turbo. I think I'm gonna keep it in trail because I think that's. Ooh, keep the spin in. Right, I'm Well, see I'm what in. happens. So Ow! I'm in tur Grind those mode. gears. Oh, crikey. Oh, how the f did you get up there? Huh? How the f did you get up there? He did well, I said. Well, currently Nick, the cameraman, is actually buying the beers, it seems. Right, here we go. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna put it into trail. See how she goes. Oh, how? No, 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 oh, oh. Ah. So, Michael wins, Bollocks. Nick's the cameraman in second. Oh, I could have got so much further. Oh. <laughs> One pesky rock right there. <laughs> oh, but look at that head. Oh, that is, that is truly hideous. Yeah. That is truly hideous. Well, this is where the hiking bike begins, <laughs> eh? Can we swap bikes now? <laughs> Give us that SL, will you? <laughs> okay, turn around. Turn around? Yep. Turn around, yeah. Obviously, you need a mate to do this for you. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the brake. Where am I going? Grab the handlebar. Where? Grab the saddle. Oh, okay. Oh, and there, there you go. Oh, have you put it on my shoulders? But then you can put it onto, you can rest it onto your camelback as well. Have you put well. the bike on my shoulders yet? Uh, geez. <laughs> this bike. Careful, you don't get blown away with that. This bike is just so light. Right, I don't think I'm going to have that luxury. I think I'm pushing. That's not bad. That's all right. That's actually all right. Well, rub it in a little bit more. Hey, Nick, this is the 20 minute hiker bike. Hey, I've been thinking, you know what, for maybe people who don't have the technical skills to ride up the steep stuff, maybe a lightweight e-bike is a good option. That's not too bad carrying that. Let's feel the weight of that one. It's gonna, yeah, it's sort of, uh, yeah, I kind of get it. <laughs> you f***ed! Yeah. <laughs> get back here, you old Welshman! <laughs> Bloody Jones. I kind of walked into that one, didn't I? This bird is just the stupidest climb that anybody is ever going to attempt to make. So I have put it into turbo mode for the first time today. Come on, bad boy. Oh, wow. Come on, you hey. Oh, no. Seriously. Oh, f it's the top's right there. <laughs> I was robbed. Oh, well. Jesus, well, I can say that the turbo mode works a treat. Ooh. 
Last little techie bit. Ah, we made it, bud. We made it. Well done. Wow, wow. <sighs> What's that? That's quite a view, isn't it? Wow. I mean, look, you can see there to the east. Yeah. That's Sierra Nevada. Yeah, with the snow on it. Yeah, that's Malaga in between. Yeah. I look there to the south. You see Africa? Wow, that's Africa. <laughs> yeah, on the horizon. Wow, it's just like so close. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and what about down there? That is, well, that's Gibraltar. Uh, and that's just going down to Marbella. Right. Marbs. The Marbs, isn't it, mate? And what about down there? I can't remember. Isn't that like the eye of the storm? Maybe it's better that we don't, eh? <laughs> we'll leave that one. Oh, what's uh, that? Oh, hold on. Uh, someone's phone in, but... Um, oh, what does the number say? Uh, oh, Mike, forget the number. Two, total ascent, 21, 24. 2,124 feet of climbing. Yeah. Wow, on 160 watt hour battery. That is insane. Did it actually run out in the end? Uh, I'm actually still on red, look. That's good going, actually. So that's like three of those batteries, 6,000 feet easy. Uh, if you think about it, I actually rode quite a bit of that in tr turbo mode of the top part. Yeah, yeah, you did. Well, Cranky. otherwise you wouldn't have been just walking the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, time. So I did this in trail most of the way. And you got that one. You just used like three bars, which is like, uh, like th a third, right? Yeah, thirty percent. Just a li little bit less, actually. Rem remember, that's a five hundred watt hour battery. Uh, let's go and have a sandwich and do some maths. Let's do it. Fancy that? Yeah, bit of maths. What's Did you bring the beers? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I've got an emergency stash here. <laughs> I'm really interested about these two bikes, Levo SL versus Levo, because doing that climb has thrown up so many questions. And that, that, that ascent on that's tiny, 160 watt hour battery, I mean, that opens up the world. You can fly around the world with that bike. Yeah. And if you carry a, you know, carry a battery, I mean, you people shops will probably soon stock those little, little, little dinky things. I guess it also means that we carried up all the others for no reason at all. <laughs> Uh, I don't suppose they magically get lighter when they don't have any charge in them, do they? Okay, time then to change things up and head downwards. Get the battery out. Even though I'm on red and I've done 2100 feet, I think I want to stick a fresh in. Now, if you hand me the merchandise, please, Michael. Hand over the goods. Hand over the goods. A freshy. God, they are quite light, aren't they? Yeah. That Kilo? goes there. Not even. This goes in here. Here, Mike. Old Nick likes me saying here, don't you, Nick? Sure. Here. Here. Yeah. Get the rubber over the top. Isn't that right, Michael? Yep. Five bars! <laughs> Time then to change things up and head off the hill. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the biggest difference between these two bikes, apart from the 16 kilo weight on the SL and 20 kilos on the Levo, is that short chain stay. 437 on this bike compared to 455 on the Levo. And that might mean that this bike, the SL, might be a little bit more nippy in the corners and maybe a bit more agile. You can pop the front wheel up a bit easier to get over some of those rocks and roots. Only one way to find out, and let's hit the downhill. What, down there? <laughs> down there? <laughs> yes, sir. That is my idea of hell. That is a proper Torremolinos tangle, isn't it? Ready? Oh, sand and rock. Is there, is there a worse combination? Go on uh, then. Well, we're going to find out. Oh. Right. Oh, he's down! Damn it! <laughs> Uh, do you know you said earlier about age for beauty? Don't forget knee before carbon on my little bike there. <laughs> Be careful. I'll try next time. Thank you.
So the rocks, they became loose, they became fast too, before we reached Michael's aforementioned hike bike. In reality, more of a cliff face, a via ferrata in which we could really work on the weights and measures of the levers. You holding the chain? Okie dokie. So whilst we plunder our way through some limestone, time then to contemplate. What then should you be considering when looking at the Levo and the Levo SL? Well, range for starters, but it does seem to be incredibly similar on both bikes. And componentry, well that depends on your price point. Now the handling is different, and that is for several reasons. Firstly, the weight, the Levo SL, will be easier to manoeuvre for some people. However, do not confuse lighter weight for a livelier, easier ride. No, how a bike can be moved on a trail is largely down to rider skill and speed. And the Levo can be every bit as lively. It also depends on the weight of the rider. Now, some people say that SL turns faster and is faster downhill, but that really depends on the turn, the timing and the technique. You simply cannot make such generalizations. It might be true on one track, one day, one rider, but on downhill trails, there is a constant game of profit and loss with the two bikes. You could, I suppose, argue the lever is quicker than the SL uphill in full turbo, but are you really in a hurry to get to the top quicker? And the bottom line is that the effort is still your decision and not the bikes. We simply had huge smiles all day on both bikes. So maybe then it's the company you're keeping and not the bikes. Uh, first time on a lever? Yes. Ooh, first time. Really? And I've tried a lot of e-bikes. And why is it taking you so long? I don't know, never opportunity. You've always been badgering me to like <laughs> have a go on one. And uh, now I have. Uh, that was a, a complex hill. Yeah. I mean, you didn't say about, oh, you did say about the walking, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, right. That was a bit sketchy. Yeah, that was a bit sketchy. Uh, um, Do you know that they have a marathon running race down there? Uh -huh. And they go very fast. <sighs> I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, so guys, I guess you want to know about the Levo versus the Levo SL. Now, I know the Levo bike intimately. I haven't really spent that much time on the Levo SL. I uh, went to South Africa and I had the, I was, sort of, I was in a tent with fever for five days. That's another story. Um, downhill on the Levo SL. Um, it really is quite a nimble bike. And uh, I don't think it's that much different actually to to the lever apart from of course the weight but i think today what today has taught us is uh yes the lever can go to places maybe two to five percent of places the sl cannot but i think for the majority of riding because after all 95 percent of people won't go to the two to five percent places that bike can go to i think right yeah i think you're probably right um and that's pretty much about it. Uh, Michael, thanks so much for uh, showing us around the Pico de... De Mijas. Pico de Mijas. Mijas. Yeah. It is prime, prime e-mountain bike territory. There is nobody on the hill, even though there are millions of people in Malaga, Torremolinos, Fuengarola, Marbella. And the number of tracks up there are, you could probably do yeah. a week pretty yeah. easily without repeating. Yeah. Uh, have a look what we did in the hills. Uh, about 20 miles from here. Don't forget to follow us on social media and give us a thumbs up if you like the video.